Trump appointed judge blocks Biden's credit card fee cap order, what happened and why it matters. In a recent development, a Texas federal judge appointed by former President Donald Trump has issued a temporary injunction blocking a Biden administration order aimed at capping credit card fees at $8. The decision, made by Judge Mark Pittman, comes as a setback for the Biden administration's efforts to reduce excessive banking fees and save Americans billions annually. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau CFPB, had issued the order, scheduled to take effect on May 14, with the potential to save Americans approximately $12 billion per year. However, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce successfully sought the injunction, arguing against the order's implementation. The decision has sparked criticism from Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren, who voiced strong opposition, accusing the judge of siding with bank lobbyists to prevent the implementation of the new rule. Warren's comments underscore the contentious nature of the issue, with Democrats advocating for consumer protection measures while facing opposition from industry groups. One key aspect of the controversy is the alleged, judge shopping, by the Chamber of Commerce, strategically seeking a favorable ruling by filing the lawsuit in Texas, where a majority of judges on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals are Republican appointees. This practice raises concerns about the impartiality of the judiciary and the influence of political affiliations on legal decisions. Judge Pittman himself questioned the rationale behind filing the injunction in his court, highlighting the lack of significant ties to the case in Texas. His scrutiny of the plaintiffs, forum shopping tactics sheds light on the broader issue of venue selection in legal disputes and its potential impact on the fairness of judicial proceedings. The dispute also reflects broader debates surrounding financial regulations and corporate influence on policymaking. The Biden administration's push to cap credit card fees aligns with its broader agenda of promoting consumer rights and financial transparency. However, opposition from industry groups highlights the challenges of balancing regulatory interventions with market interests. Moreover, the decision's implications extend beyond the immediate impact on credit card fees. It raises questions about the judiciary's role in shaping economic policies and the extent to which political appointments influence legal outcomes. The ongoing debate underscores the need for a comprehensive review of the regulatory framework governing financial services to ensure fairness and accountability. In response to the injunction, the CFPB emphasized the detrimental effects of excessive credit card charges on consumers, reaffirming the importance of regulatory measures to address financial abuses. The agency's commitment to protecting consumers' interests highlights the ongoing efforts to address systemic issues within the financial industry. Overall, the injunction represents a significant setback for the Biden administration's regulatory agenda, highlighting the challenges of enacting substantive reforms in a politically polarized environment. The outcome underscores the need for bipartisan cooperation and judicial independence to address pressing economic issues and safeguard consumer rights in the financial sector. As the legal battle continues to unfold, it remains to be seen how the Biden administration will respond and whether it will pursue alternative strategies to achieve its policy objectives. In the meantime, the decision serves as a reminder of the complexities inherent in navigating the intersection of law, politics, and economics in the pursuit of regulatory reform.